So here we are, Noel. This has been. I I kind of I have a few things I want to talk about yeah, today. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That um, you know, cover. I want to cover some ground. Like you know, there there's there's a few things that I want to cover. First off. Number one is the the journey that you and I have been on to do this, it's been to do this school. I, it's hard to describe to anybody, really. Well, that's what I want to try to get into is actually uh-huh. kind of like, because for people that don't know, Noel and I are actually really good friends. He was a groomsman at my wedding. Uh, I tell him every single thing about myself and my life. He knows all of my darkest stuff and deepest stuff and... Good stuff too. And well, of course, all yeah. the good stuff too. <laughs> but it's like uh so it's been this challenge of like doing this business with a good friend and mm-hmm. then going through the trenches with uh doing a business with a good friend. Yeah, and yeah. That's been absolutely. really hard. Really hard. Yeah. And people that have any kind of experience in doing business would understand that it's you know, it's just tricky because it's like you're we we've, we've had a lot on the line doing this business and mm-hmm. we put our houses on the line. Yeah. You know, families on the line, yeah. families on the line. Uh, and so it's been a really, a really. It, it's we have. I feel like we've evolved and come out of this as stronger and better people. Oh my gosh, yeah. As a result, totally. Absolutely. Don't you think? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I mean, what do you think? Like, what? Well, are your... you know, I mean, my my dad uh, always said he said if you ever do business with a friend, make sure that business is solid you know that business mm-hmm. relationship is solid and written it. down yeah yeah everything. yeah and we we went to great we lengths did that. and yeah, we had a huge good to do well that. we had a crappy lawyer in the beginning yeah <laughs> yeah we went through a lot of <laughs> crazy ups and downs but yeah i mean i can't i, I it's hard to describe we should talk about, about that though today. just how we we got because this is good advice for people too so we got a lawyer that papered our deal for you to buy into the business right and uh they essentially created this deal that uh, this this Didn't agreement that that would not hold up in court. <laughs> it was <so> ridiculous. <laughs> like they all, I know, they, I know. all they did, like we wrote out all this stuff, and we're like, we this is how the agreement should go, and they were like, this is how the agreement should go. They just yeah. copied what we did and put it on. A I know boilerplate sort of like this is like a and legal you think form. when you get a lawyer, you're you get yeah. good advice. But they I were mean, just like they essentially copied ridiculous. and pasted what we did, and then charged us money to do that. We were like. Yeah. And then we showed my accountant the, the 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 agreement, and he was like, "You know, this is not going to hold up in court if there's a problem." Yeah. We were like, "Oh." Yeah. He goes, Time "Yeah." To find he was a like, lawyer. He, and then there was a great saying. He, he was said, uh, "He said cheap meat is expensive meat." Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. you have to pay the transport on good yep. meat or cheap meat, whether you get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever you get it from. Totally, totally. So it's yeah, the yeah, same. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And um, so yeah, that was, was like a really interesting. We've just had so many. You know, when we've been it's the real estate, all the real estate. I was estate gonna say the permutations, the, so the, like the finding a, looking for the space. Yep. How long have we been looking for space? We we searched for I think two years and we had two different real estate agents and the one we ended up with, yeah, I mean, just seemed to be on board with what we were looking for and, and had a vision had the same kind of vision and, and called me one morning out of the blue at, at, at he was passing the space and he's like, <laughs> Noel, you gotta get down here, you know, and I rushed down here. I I think you wrote a booking or something and yeah. And I rushed down there, and I was like, "Wow!" And then you're, and I was like, "We gotta see the space." And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll check it out. We'll check it out." <laughs> I was casual about it. I know or you were right? casual about it. I was, I was like, sort of. I was all dude, like, "This is a getting hot a little potato. bit." Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. I think I was getting cynical because then we sat down at that, the place over at Terminal above the uh, oh, Dysco yeah. truck rental mm-hmm, just over mm-hmm. there. Remember, we sat at that coffee That's shop because we, we looked at that third floor lease space. Which was and extremely we looked at expensive. It. Yeah, it was like really expensive, and yeah. we were like, we were like, shit, this is this. I I was convinced that this wasn't going to happen. Actually, I was like, we can't af- we can't afford to do this. Yeah, this isn't going to happen because real estate prices were not budging much, and yeah. if anything, going up. And commercial real estate agents didn't up until our last one didn't seem very interested in what we were doing. We were uh, small potatoes to those. Well, folks. and the guy that. You know, we're not going to mention any names, but he he just didn't understand uh, um, uh, tenant use. Is that no? Oh. <laughs> That's phones. <laughs> They're calling me. <laughs> it, yeah, he's calling you right now. Um, and he didn't understand the use component of it because we had to come in as a uh, as a school yep. use, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Assembly mm-hmm. use, it's called. 
and oh, yeah, and so he was all like he was like thing. oh just do industrial <laughs> and you'll be fine and uh that just just nuts. say that you're doing production and you can do demos and then just operate the school under yep. an industrial use and we were like we were like okay yeah well, and then what we, do almost, we know i mean yeah and we almost hooked up with uh matthew harrison yeah that's right had, we had that place like almost almost right? Yeah, and then it was then another production company. Do you imagine in. if we would have got? I mean, I'm sure we would have made it work in that because the studio was already well, built. It was a in beautiful that space. studio. Yeah, I mean, it was all it's okay. Wood. I mean, I don't compared it's to okay. like, but compared, compared to, what to we this, have now, yeah, for sure. But in compared to what we had seen seen that far, that was it that's was amazing. True. It was the best one so far. Yeah, and it was already built. I yeah, guess, so we wouldn't have had to get it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we we got a loan from the BDC to do all this, and uh, but we would have been hooped because of that <clears> assembly use. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't change it, can no. you? Or like, uh, not not once you go in. I mean, I you you sign the lease, and if you can't get assembly use for the space, you're in the you know. I, yeah, maybe there's something a didn't day seem or right. Like it just kind of, we would have been nervous, and then and then he was like, oh yeah, well the city could come in here and shut you down, so we'd be like, you know, we'd invest in getting into the space and then build everything, and then build everything. Yeah. And then city comes in and says, "You're not. You have students in here, and you have children in here. This is not. A, this is not industrial. Right. This is assembly. Right. Yeah. You're shut down for Goodbye. six months until we can somehow configure a new use yeah. for you. So go. You know, during which time our business would fold because totally we wouldn't have the revenue to. Yeah. And that's yeah, the thing. We that we've been up against like so many, uh, <laughs> so many hurdles." It's like the universe was challenging us all the time. Every step of the way. Every step of the way. Real estate wise, construction wise. The like, city was tricky. The city with us. was a yeah, and right? we got lucky with the city. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. but we we got lucky, but we also our friend over at the city. We're not going to say anyone's names as well, but uh, he was. Uh, you know, we went in and we said, okay, we're about to sign a lease, mm -hmm. five years mm -hmm. with a five year mm -hmm. renew. Uh, you know what? What do we need to know? Uh, is there anything we need to know before we sign this? Because you know we want we got to know that we have a green light here yeah. in order to get this done. Well, I think he and is like there he, anything that we should know? He thought it was a He's slam a, dunk. But remember what he said? He goes, he goes. It, this is as good as it gets. It's a slam dunk. Or whatever. We were like, great. We sign the lease. We go yeah. back, and it's like, oh no, yeah, you're not going to get a heritage use. building. And they had is a special, why? yeah, and they had a special letter. From the previous yep, tenant, from the pre yeah. yeah, from the previous. But the yep. previous tenant was the Vancouver School Board, right? And we thought we could just piggyback on the use, yeah, and that was, and then sort of not they the were case. like, "No, you can't piggyback on the use. You have to do it. Apply to be a new use right, right, or right, a new right." right? Yeah. So we had a guardian guardian angel at the city save us. Uh, so we went in. Then, yeah. I, I think you were there, right? Oh yeah. So we went in, and there was that circular office or that where you check in. And I remember saying to the woman, "I was like, you're killing our business." Remember? <laughs> Remember yeah. that? Yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah. killing our business even before yeah. we start. Because yeah. if we have to wait six months before we can open our we'll doors, we're water. done. Yeah. We can't afford to do this. This yeah. is not, we're not big money coming in here with like, it, you know, the ability to stretch things out. And so it, it's just, it it's felt like that, you know, and then the guy who built this place was yeah. a challenge. He did a great job. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like in the end, he really yeah. did a great job. But every part of that was challenging because we didn't, we couldn't get drywallers. We couldn't get. You know, yeah, I mean, we had some we had some angels that would be like somehow. I mean, my friend Camwar was a huge blessing. Yes, I mean, he really was. Yeah, you know, him and Preet did found Let's the painters. The good names. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Canwar and Preet yeah. uh, found the drywallers, yeah, yeah, yeah. flooring, paint, carpet, and bathrooms. Yeah, they were amazing. Right? Uh, absolutely like with amazing. A, I I don't even know what we would have done without them. Uh, we would have been in trouble. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We, we would have taken it even more, even longer. I mean. Yeah. As it as it stood, we were two or three months behind. And Sound Kitchen, Judy and Paul donated like literally twenty five yep. or thirty sound so panels. Wave, yep. wave yep. donated a few, and then and the big desk. Yeah. And uh, we got their doors and and stuff like that. And uh, so. so, I mean, it's just been epic. like um, epic journey. Epic, epic journey. It's like, like a ma like a, you know you yeah. can either do a you either do a master's or Harvard or uh, <laughs> you know like <laughs> an MBA yeah. at Harvard or. You know, it was uh, challenging, and it and it again, it going back to what I first talked about about us being friends and then business partners. It was it was hard because yeah. we we really had to like, you know, call each other out on stuff. We got yeah. mad at each other, you know. There were tears at times, and like, you know, and then there was the night. <laughs> Thank God. Again, another angel. 
I said to you, I was like, hey, let's go down to the studio tonight. We got to build some panels or whatever. Oh, yeah, that's let's right. Let's get that done yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, because we wrapped at least 75% of these panels with new right. cloth yeah, to make I remember them look that. good, right? Yeah. And uh, fiberglass. We everywhere. came in here. Do you remember? We came in here. I came in here. And there was a light bulb. Oh my gosh! On the carpet, the place almost got smoking. Fire. Smoking. Yeah, the the, the light bulb. We it's right there. That, that spot right there. Yeah, it's I, still I almost there. want to leave still it there, there just as a memory. I'm gonna put up a sign. <laughs> oh my god! A near miss. Like, can you? I I can't even imagine. It was smoking. That it was that, smoking. Was yeah, the smoke carpet was smoking, and, and it was the, yeah. Like, and there's wood underneath here. Yeah, because it's a floating floor. Right. So. It probably would have. The whole place would have caught on fire. Something for sure. uh, like a little fire could have popped yeah. or something. Or, oh my God, I can't even imagine. And it was only because we decided to come in there. Yeah, night. yeah. Like somehow we were like, yeah, let's go in, and like, we got to do yeah. that. We got to do that tonight. And we've had some somehow. We've had some protective angels for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, who, yeah. Who came in? Yeah, I mean, I think I think just getting this particular space, um, you know. W- was a real find because because yeah, we amazing. we looked at you know remember that place on sixth we saw yeah, it was kind of cool but way smaller was, yeah remember it, it, it had we would have had to floor reno- and yeah renovate the whole oh we, yeah okay. the nicer one next that was, to the whip no 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 oh, yeah, it was like okay. in the block of like uh columbia and um uh, uh yeah just like was... a block and a half away from ggrp you go up the stairs and beside is like a sewing shop and then, bes- remember, it was oh, really nice. That like it, place, yeah, 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 remember yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We were like feeling we really good it, about we it. We could have had a like a loft, <laughs> the loft studio up there or something. No, 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 it wasn't high. You, you I'm thinking of the stairs and the big open space. That's a different no, place. You must be thinking of. But there, we were, we were, we put in an offer to yep. them, mm-hmm. and uh, so, so yeah, like just you know, even just kind of finding this place was was. We feel like the angels were like, okay, you guys are working hard. Try to make this happen. Mm-hmm, we'll we'll mm-hmm. help me because it it's turned out to be the perfect space for us to do this. Yeah, amazing. And so when students come in, they're like, they're like, oh, cool, you guys got like a really well because cool of the high spot. ceilings and, too, which yeah. we didn't have in a lot of places. And, and we had an HVAC system in place, so there's AC. And we got air pumping through here, right? Crazy, yeah. And we so, had a great. We actually have a great landlord too. So yeah, landlord's really cool. Fantastic, right? Yeah. And they wanted us here, and we we and what we didn't mention is that we got this place within twelve hours of another offer of a con- a major development or major yeah developer, like a uh, like a clothing store yeah. or something or like I, a yeah I think it, either real estate it retail, or something right? like that yeah yeah but it was a major major coup and they actually gave it to us because they wanted a smaller business in here yeah which was amazing I mean yeah yeah so, so it it was like you know. And then the build started. So then we had the keys in April of 2016, and the build started, and that was, like, super intense. Yeah. Um, you know, just because we were shelved yeah. with – there was another studio being built by the contractor at the same time, and so right. we had to, like, you know, deal with that, and that was intense. Um, so then we were talking about um, the build. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and, like, it, w- it was kind of like your job to keep Bill calm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. And then it was my job to kind of kick his ass a little bit because, right. you know, I was just on top of him because I was like, dude, you're we need to get this done. We need, like yeah. there was a time like he said, you know, he gave us a two month window. He yeah. said, you'll be done in two months. Didn't he? Remember, he was yep. like, I can get this done in by April, May. You'll be you should have classes in June. Yeah, we get started until like, right. Like we didn't July, start to September. Our first class was September 10th. In here. Oh, right. In here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. in terms of, yeah, getting the renovation going. So yeah. because we got yeah. four months uh, free rent and two months, I think, free op costs or right. whatever. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we were sort of counting on, okay, well, we got to get in here early so we can sort of get rolling. But uh, we had to swallow two months. Yeah. That was, you know. Desperate times. <laughs> It just, I mean, he, he was such an emotional guy. And, and I, like I said, I'm really grateful for the job that he did, but he just was like, he was all over the map, man. Like, and we had to, and we were sort of like on our knees, like, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. we couldn't get mad we were at begging him. Begging him. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Because he'd be walking around going, I don't even know why I am doing this. Like, this is, you know, I, I don't even know why I said yes to you guys. I, I should have quit this thing like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd say that, that he'd walk out <laughs> I know. he'd walk out I know. and be I talking know. about us on the way out 
Remember? I know. Yeah. You're like, these guys are idiots. I go, Bill, we can hear you. <laughs> I know. We're like, still here. Like, literally, he'd be talking about us on his way. Like, that was hilarious. And then, on, and, then, and then on a Saturday at 6, he calls me on the phone. Michael, I just, I really like you. You know, I've really, you know, things have turned. And I just, I, I, I really think I get, you're a good guy. And he starts telling me all this stuff about his brother passing yeah, alert, his being tough. sick, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So he really was going through a lot, like Nixon, but, but, but holy, uh, that that was just like crazy times. It just, you know, we were helpless. You know, we just wanted it so badly. And I don't know if there's a lesson in there somewhere. It's that classic, like if you want something too bad, it's never a good idea, because you got it. Because it ne stuff yeah. never really comes to you if you if you want it too That's much. That's true. But you know that energy. There's a line. I feel like that energy that we had that we wanted to succeed and wanted to make it happen did invite you know guardian angels as much as the challenges. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Absolutely. You know, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good but ride it, though. Wow. And oh I, yeah, my God, I mean, it, and t yeah, I mean, t even on our yeah, we were talking about our relationship, and I I think that. Yeah, it's made, uh, it's like, it's kind of like going, I imagine what it's going to war with somebody, you know what I mean? Like mm. spending time, you can't describe what happened or what's happening, mm -hmm. but it's uh, it's amazingly rewarding. Yeah. You know? Because so. we were like Eminem. What's the line in Eminem's song? Only mother F and option is to succeed. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Right, right. I'm trying not to swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cause that that that's our only option with this place. Cause we want to, you know, yeah. we want it to be the 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 bridge between people wanting to get in the business and and succeeding as a professional voiceover artist. Yeah, and that's you what's know? important. I mean, it's like yeah. we, we want to have a successful business for sure. But I mean, the the key that motivates us is is giving that gift to folks and allowing yeah. people to do voiceover in a way that I don't think it was available before. No, you know, like you like kind of Tim, like into Tim it. got that job that my wife's aunt uh aunt's company runs it's a like an e-learning class that's or whatever. right you know he's done like like i don't know 30 different videos or something oh yeah yeah, yeah you know yeah. gets paid like 200 bucks a pop yeah like yeah. you know what i mean I, and i was so deal. proud to like super great get him that job and he was just he was like yeah that's super cool i'm really it's going well and they're happy with his work and you know i talked to her name's yolanda who offered him the job and she was like, yeah, we're happy with Tim, and, and there's more work coming down the pipe. And I was like, great, because that's the other thing I love is getting our students' work yeah. that comes through here, the, like the low-budget stuff that video games or corporate videos or commercials, they come through, and then and they, they want to hire our students, and our students are, like, ready to go. And, and uh, it just feels so great. Well, like, it is, you know yeah. What I mean? I mean, yeah, two, I mean, two huge success stories. Like, one of, one of the students that came out of here, he, uh, after his demo, he couldn't get an agent in Vancouver at all. Couldn't get arrested. And uh, then he went online and booked this major, major Seagram's ad for five grand. Oh, wow. And I said, well, you know what? Why don't you take that deal to an agent in Vancouver and say, hey, you want to negotiate this and and, uh, and then sign me? Yeah. And I think he did that. He did? Yeah. Can you say his name? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Keep it, keep it, yeah, uh, keep it. Okay. But you know, then another, uh, another, another student, even more recently, uh, just before he took the class, came for coaching, and and he then the next day he booked a, a job for three grand. Yeah. And said it was because of the switch in the coaching that happened, and that's Amazing. less a, a pat on the back to me as it, as much as it is a testament to what you know what we do can change folks mm -hmm. folks' trajectory. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh there's, there's been a lot of good success stories like Rona getting on a Littlest Pet Shop and Polly Pocket and Adam, uh, Adam um, Kirshner, yep. uh, Che, both getting on with Red, yeah. which is pretty big deal to go huge to tier, tier one like right away. Right away yeah. First agent is huge. Uh, yeah, there's been a lot of like Dustin Schwartz. He was way back in OTM days. There, yeah. um, even like Kira Tozer was a student of mine. Back in, did you know that? Really? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, she took a weekend animation workshop with me back at Studio X Labs. That's amazing. And uh, and I I like schooled her on like, yeah. I was like I was like you got to get the little boy voice going because you're gonna kill it, right? Right? I was like because she was practicing. And I was like I was like it doesn't have the, it doesn't feel like you have the essence of a little boy quite yet. Right. It's you're not. You know, and then she was like, how about now? And I was like, okay. And we just kept playing with it and. And then she she's been killing the little boy and little girl voices like in various series and stuff yep. like it's crazy. Yeah. So uh, it's just it's just cool to like 
I, I feel like OTM is, has become quite a spider web in, in Vancouver. Yeah. Like there, it's, it's, it's between the instructors and the students and even like, you know, we've had James Corgill and now, you know, Carl Willems and Jack Cox yep. and Cindy Akers and, uh, you know, now Adrian Lindsay coming yep. on board, like people at, at that level doing casting or voice directing are coming on to say like, Hey, we're, we're, we get what you're doing. And that's just what we've tried to do is just be like, we're trying to provide a window into the business so you can like, you know, really experience it at, at, at yeah. the level. Not at, not to dabble. At the competitive level, yeah. The competitive to, level. To, to actually make a living in it, yeah. Yeah. Like, like whether you want to try it out or, de like, go part-time or full-time, that's your choice. But you're going to experience it at the level that, like, you know, we experience it at. So, we, you know, we're, we're just coming from a session or an audition, and then we're coaching you. Yeah. So we're, we're like... We're like fresh off the the the, the truck. And you know that's you know. super important. You have to have that. I mean, my mentor in New York was uh, he uh, he said, you know, don't ever take classes from a voiceover teacher who doesn't do it. You know, mm -hmm. and that was Stuart Dillon. And then yeah. you know, uh, our coach um, has said that too, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, Maurice Dubai. Yeah, Maurice Dubai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, She's amazing. Because you know, and sh and the biggest thing is like that. The voiceover is a fashionable industry, mm -hmm. and then it changes uh, mm -hmm. according to economic whims. So, you know, you need to you need to know what you have. You have to be in it to to be able to teach it. I feel like it, and and you know, not everybody that's in it can teach it either, and we've discovered that too. Like mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but um, we've certainly found some some amazing people that amazing, you know, people. that care. I mean, th th that's that's what we've tried to just put out there that that we we re actually we care about the success level mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and and what you're learning and 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 are, how you're developing and and. You know, even just it makes me feel good when someone comes out of their shell 10 percent and, th and they leave the class kind of going, huh, I learned something about myself that, you know, I've been kind of internal and exactly. I don't really express myself a whole lot. And they leave going, geez, maybe I can be that way in life. You well, know, yeah, which I mean, is even amazing. If, even if they don't choose to go on to do voiceover, and I mean, we we try to get everybody to do, you know, to continue yeah. that path. But come out of their shell. Yeah, come out yeah. of. But they do. Even if they don't continue on the path to voiceover, they do come out of their shell and they learn life lessons that, that yeah. really affect their lives. We kind of drag them out of their shell. We pull them because it, it, it's yeah. it can be uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and you know, and you and I have had uncomfortable times, I'm sure, throughout our career where. We're in a session and we get and you know, and you just like, it's funny. You're in a session and in my mind, I'm like, no, the script needs to go this way. Yeah. And you kind of see it like that. And then the they're director, pulling you another it's, way. they're completely opposite yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, and you're kind of not getting it. And they're like, no, it's like over here. And you're like, you're like, you mean like this? They're like, well, not really. It's here. And you're like, ah, and you're like trying to pull yeah, 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 the. Yeah. The feeling or whatever that they're trying to get. Well, in a way, you have you to know. surrender, right? You, you yeah. Know, like you gotta surrender what you think you know, and yeah. uh, that's tough. You just kind of really gotta, tough. yeah. You gotta let it go and just kind of go for it and be like, you know. But it's so it's it's sort of like I I feel like you get better at you know surrendering or or just allowing yourself to be led over here, even though it's uncomfortable. You're we get better at being uncomfortable, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like Absolutely. You, just, you get better because because it, it is sort of an odd thing voiceover. If you think about it, like there's people behind <laughs> behind glass. Yeah. And you're in this other room. Isolated. It's like a funny yourself. room. Like like it's an yeah. observation room. It's or like bizarre. a NASA capsule. Like you, there's yeah. no sound in or out. You know, like a, a, oh. a, out in space. Yeah. You know, like you've got so, nothing. And, and then yeah. they, they go, like, they take their finger off the button, and they're, they're like, talking about you. Like, yeah. And, 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 oh, <laughs> you're yeah. like, is that it? Are you laughing are about me? Are you laughing me? about me? What, yeah. Like, what are you, you saying? <laughs> but meanwhile, they're like, yeah, no, I had lunch. And know, anyways, like, we'll get back to the talent yeah. feedback in a second. And you're like, you know, and of course, again, over the years, you learn to just, I don't care what you're saying behind well, yeah, I'm doing what I do. But sometimes they do talk about you. Sometimes they like do. Like sometimes the button's on and then and you hear yeah. somebody going, wait, what? Who? what is he doing? <laughs> so we were talking about, uh, yeah, the, the, the awkwardness of voiceover, how it's like, because I, I, I often imagine like, or, or first off, like, you know, when you go into auditions and, uh, and, and you've probably done this before where you actually uh, like, you'll audition in the same room as for voiceover with the person who's directing you 
Right. Right. Yeah. yeah You've yeah, done yeah, that. Yeah, before. yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Sometimes animation does that. Or, More, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And um, although I've done it commercially, even recently I did it. And it's it is. Yeah. It's I weird. I kind of, I kind of prefer it in a way because mm. it's sort of like. Because I feel like the gla- even though it's glass, it's a wall. Yeah. So now because there's a wall, I can talk to you as if you're behind a wall sure. and I'm protected behind the wall. And, and then some people have attitude like, yeah. yeah, you in that room there. Yeah, good luck. Anyways, yeah. we're, we're behind the safe area. And uh, you can just, you know, like not saying that's all. Uh, there's beautiful people behind the glass. No, for sure, right? for sure. But I think you got to. And if you're going into casting with somebody in the same room, you want to make sure that there's somebody who's receptive. Because if yeah. you're not receptive, you know, you're in trouble. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's such a weird thing. And I, I was thinking about it. I was doing a session the other day, and I was just kind of like, I, I don't know. Like, I just, I get reflective sometimes in the weirdest moments. And I just sort of like, you know, I was just sort of looking at the voice director and the engineer and everybody in there. And I was just like, I was like, what would this be like if that wall wasn't there? Yeah. Like if we just sort of, you know, if we did all this and then you guys had just had to be quiet when I was recording uh-huh. and we and you talk to me as if it's like we're how we're talking. Right. There's no wall between us. Yeah. That, because it now there's an intimacy with you and I because there's mm-hmm. no wall. It, mm-hmm. it I think the the glass wall shuts off the intimacy. Oh, yeah, a little for bit. sure. For sure. Like, do you know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. It's sort of like it's mm-hmm. like everybody's a little bit sort of less vulnerable. Yep. Behind the glass wall. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. And it, so that's a bizarre thing. It's a, and, it's a, it's a bizarre artifice. And I mean, yeah. Like, <clears throat> but as you know, I mean, like most of the sessions, I would say, heck, I mean, about 80 percent of the stuff I do anyway is, is remote. Right. So you yeah. got the client somewhere else. And which is a um, whole other ball of wax. Right. Yeah, it is. But I kind of you know. it's funny for me. I kind of like that world. The world kind of exists between your ears. Yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't mind that. You know, I think when, as you said, when you get the silences and and you get the awkward pauses, then mm-hmm. you're thinking about what they're thinking. But usually, it's and just you're looking technical. at their faces when they're behind the glass, yeah. going like, "Oh, they seem kind of a little upset." Yeah, and mean, and then they're like, "Okay, yeah, we're good." Yeah, you know? and you know what? I contend that I, I actually had a situation recently where I did a pretty big spot uh, remotely, and uh, and it was in my home studio, and I had and I had to, uh, the client had to go. And yeah. they didn't only half like one person stayed to say goodbye. And I was like, oh, and I got all in my head about it. Yeah. Like, oh, my like, gosh. This like is they not hated good. it, you know, and blah, blah, blah. They're going to fire me. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, be, and, 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 and it's weird because, you know, not that I'm generally insecure, but like when you when that ha- happens, you're like, huh. You can't help but play you out can't the scenarios, help but play it out. You got to right? kind of play it out because you, you, we've all been through. We've all been fired. We've all been like. Weird stuff has happened at yeah. some point to all of us. Like you know, so you so you kind of sure. know. My whole thing now with Phone Patch or Source Connect or ISDN is I I I'm getting really good at like you know I, I'll listen to how they talk to me in the first minute or two. Yeah, and I'll know exactly how the session's going to go based on the type of person and how they talk to me it is. Wow, that's you know? pretty. Yeah, I'm, that's pretty smart. It's like, well, it's like I'm, I'm I'm getting this feel because it, it's. Like I can recognize if mm-hmm. they have that sort of chill factor of like, yeah, okay, yeah, so it's all good. We're just gonna get these spots laid down. Yeah. Or if it's a little more like, okay, uh, so here's how we're gonna, and then you end up doing 29 more takes than you need to for, sure, for, for sure. something yeah, that yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and it's just kind of like, so I just sort of brace myself for the feel, and I'm I'm very you know I I always approach it with my best foot forward and try to be humble and yeah. but confident. Yeah, you know, and and uh, it's good though. Listen to l- listen to how where they are in the first minute. You can tell yeah. like are they tense? Yeah, kind of people are they? Yeah, do they know what they're like, doing? What's the feel? What's the feel? Do they? What's the and feel? this can be on any you know it can be on any on level any of level. project. Absolutely, could be a big project, little project, yeah, or a little project with mu- you know multi you know multitasker like a, or yeah. multitasker on a big yeah. project too, where yeah. you do like a thousand takes and you're just kind of like, I don't know if you're getting the most out of me here like like yeah, you know, know what i mean I like you're yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm i'm getting tired and and anyone's <laughs> gonna get tired yeah. it's not like you know what i mean it's just i'm in really good shape it's yeah. not about that it's just mental exhaustion creeps in and then you're you know you're kind of like i'm just not i'm too close to it now and i'm I mean, you're not getting fresh stuff anymore well you know? you know it does bring up one of the the core values that we try to uh, espouse and teach here which is is authenticity 
mm-hmm. and knowing yourself and being able to express yourself. Yeah. And yeah. that is, that's a huge, probably one of the biggest part of the game, mm-hmm. you know, like knowing how to be yourself mm-hmm. kind of like we are doing now, but like on mm-hmm. the mic when you're doing jobs. Yeah. How do you be yourself with a client? How do you be yourself in the, in the, in the spot, you know? And, yeah. and that's uh, because increasingly that's where the, it's certainly commercial voiceover has gone, right? You know, you, they, they're mm-hmm. asking for you, 100% you. So Yeah, yeah. I'm also yeah. learning how to, like, um, be better at, at controlling a session if I need to. Yeah. Because you can sometimes, like, there's some sessions where you can feel the wheels starting to come off a little bit because mm-hmm. they're sort of, like, they're incapable of, of, of really running the session properly or directing the talent. And so if you don't kind of, like, speak up a little bit or, or try to, you know, or protect what you're delivering because it, it can oh, yeah. kind of because then it's kind of like, then you just start feeling terrible about yourself you're just like yeah. I, i'm horrible mm-hmm. that whatever mm-hmm. i'm trying to do they're hating and right. you start feeling bad about yourself and you're yeah. and that never translates into anything good yeah and so i i'm getting better at just like i'm like hey why don't we just yeah can we try this or like you know i'm feeling this or and i just sort of up my energy and it gets them out of their head a little bit and i just kind of like pile drive through that that those moments and and just try See to like confusion yeah and just try and just try to like hammer through just yeah just otherwise because if my energy drops then mentally i kind of drop and then i physically drop a little bit and, and and then i'm just sort of like and then i get heady and i'm starting to like uh what am i saying what did you want and it yeah. slows down too mm-hmm. the session mm-hmm. slows down which is never good you because you're always doing your best work when you're cooking right like right yeah yeah it's great okay uh love that but um try this and, and go here bop and then you, do you the, get over directed right like the, the, yeah the director's talking too much and then five minutes they're thing. talking for like sometimes yeah. how can you process all of that i mean yeah. yeah i get it if it's in the beginning that's why i'm like even before i open my mouth in the first take especially on phone patch i'll be like hey so let's let's talk about you know the direction like mm-hmm. where are we going mm-hmm. like what like what are you feeling like is it sort of you know like just so i can get because otherwise i feel like it 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 kind of um if it's you know depending on who is directing yeah if they're able to direct properly um it can get a little too much direction heavy in between takes and then you're not getting the energy going and for sure like i was doing this session with a guy out of atlanta and he must have been super experienced because he was like he would literally like a direction like this he goes do it faster and then it's gonna be and I, i'd be like he's rolling like that but but he was getting my energy up yeah and he'd be yeah, like yeah. he'd be like do it like you're on fire and i'm like rolling and i'd be like and i'd just be like he'd be like great now try like this and and he okay and now really calm now try like that like, oh and he so was sort of like, like he, he was body the like, direction he was like he was he was nice. switching my gears yeah with, like for me he was like and he was like into it and then he was like yeah okay great do a pickup on that do another one and okay great we got it like it was like motoring, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Because yeah, he knew yeah. I could do the reads. He was just trying to find like underline this word or faster or. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's it's just such a isn't it a pleasure when you work with a director that Who is really like really knows their who's stuff. got you in and they love you. They yeah. they love you and you just feel the love and they're like you're in their hand. They empower you and they know how to use you. Yeah, yeah. and you're just like, you're like, you're you're just so. Uh, I'm like I'm like what can I g- give you? Yeah. I just want to give you yeah, so much. For sure, like for sure, what yeah. I, I'm so there for you and like Yeah. You know, so uh yeah, phone patch and ISDN are uh then there's that whole technical side of it which you've experienced oh, yeah. at your studio, like <laughs> where it's like is it is it on? Yeah or or I know. it's cut out it's cut out or yeah. There's I had always a phone patch issue that actually <clears throat> went yeah, fairly recently that I have to I had to amend. Yeah. Yeah. It's scary, it's right? Tough. Like the, every, it's you almost don't want like something you're... technical going wrong because that can that can affect uh, the relationship with the client. Yeah, especially if they don't, you know, if it's a lo- not a long term situation, first timer. Yeah, yeah. First time you want it to go. You super want that well, thing right? to be a ba- yeah. yeah, hit it out of the park because that repeat work is what you're after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It can be scary, like when you, even though you've got your computer set up and and everything's in the zone, and you know, there's still that like, okay, just hoping this all works here yep. like whatever's going on because i i don't want to because you can appear like you're you know not really pro yeah you know like very easily you know what i mean in fact a lot of like one client of mine complains about that all the time 
with really? new voiceover talent. Yeah, and oh, with new voiceover talent. Yeah, okay. because and they're always looking for somebody new. But the problem is, a lot of folks who are getting into it don't have even the technical background yeah. on it. You know, yeah, yeah, and don't yeah. have the know-how, and they and they don't actually know how to get directed. In fact, one client in LA told me that uh, the reason they went back to me is they tried another client for cheaper, and uh, in the session, the guy went, when when he got directed and he made a mistake. He would go, he would swear, you know, to himself. Like, when I kind of self. Really? Yeah, self reprimand. He would self reprimand himself, you know, and then <laughs> and then do the take. So it was like working with somebody who's beating themselves up. Yeah. And it, you know, it's that's okay just, to do that, I think, in a fun way. Well, yeah, You're but like, I mean, oh, you crap stick, and then you could you do the next line. Or, yeah, you know, but I mean, you can't be. But if you're really mad at yourself. Yeah. That's not a good energy to have either. Yeah, my client yeah. wasn't big into swearing, so that didn't work for him at all. Yeah. And that was oh and God. so that guy lost an ongoing job that could have lasted wow. two years. Wow. That I you, that I'm happy happy to do. Happy to not swear and happy be not to swear and yeah, and and, and uh keep oh my God. You know, keep that energy up. So it's uh the the technical side is a big one. I've learned to, to be better with it over the years and and I'm a bit You're of a techno good gadget guy yeah. like I I've, I've, I've always you know I mean I had a I had a mic um you got to do your parking yeah what's that probably got it yeah you got to roll uh yeah in about four, four, four or five minutes okay so we're gonna wrap Sorry. it up we'll we'll yeah. find a cut break in there yeah okay okay great um. I've been like I got my first microphone, I think in two thousand and four, like pro one for yeah. the for my home studio and all that or whatever, right? I think and I kind of had did too, yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. And before that, I was just using like those literally twenty dollar bendable Future Shop computer mics. Oh yeah, that yeah. I would yeah. like record yeah. voices and do and do like Homer Simpson and do like voices and you know and I'd cut little things together on my sound recorder right. on my PC and stuff and like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just try stuff, and and then I got this uh, Apex 460. It's called from Long and McQuaid. Shout out to Long and McQuaid. Uh, and uh, and I just yeah, and then I I got the sound interface, a Tascam 122. Alex, you probably heard of that, and um, two channel little thing, and and then I just started you know trying it, and it was so cool. And then I think I got I started with out of town agents around around that time like 2004 i got represented down in in texas at an agency called actors etc yeah and then i got on with play in um i, I think she was in wisconsin at the time or whatever i don't know mm -hmm. but these like mm -hmm. smaller market agents and i started doing like out of town stuff and and to think back it's like the sound quality must have been like i remember doing a session for pbs kids for promo literally in my bedroom microphone like like you know brought out from like you know the the office had all the gear and oh, yeah. you know recording and computer <laughs> and then a microphone into the bedroom and i'm in the bedroom on the a phone patch setup. doing yeah. like you know full-on like you know and, and they're like yeah okay great and now da, da, da. and i'd send them the files and I, I i don't know how that even sounded it must have sounded like a yeah like a bathroom oh like yeah super no, echoey I know, I know, and, I know. you know what i mean first booth was like makeshift you know wood with sound stuff and i was in an apartment and you know, had to make sure the neighbors weren't yelling. Yeah, but it's so <laughs> cool to like, you know, for those listening that do voiceover, you know, get your gear, get your technical know-how going, and 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 your get your sound paneling as good as you possibly can. And it doesn't cost that much money to have good sound paneling. I built all of my own ones, and I still use the ones. I mean, I have a whisper room now, yeah. but for my control room inside my office, I still put those up there so it sounds good on playback or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, like like. Like Noel said, I mean, you said you eighty percent of the stuff you're doing is out of town. Yeah, and you do out of town stuff when you're in Vancouver. Yeah, for your clients I mean, that yeah. you do out of town or whatever. And um, so, but you're doing stuff out of your home studio, and mm -hmm. so you've made sure that you've got the technical, the soundproofing, and all that in place, and getting better and better over the years. You upgrade microphones. You know, you got a yeah. four sixteen recently. Um, so that's just a part of the the drill. You it know, is. like. Yeah, and right. you don't have to jump into you know, you know the the Cadillac version right away. I no, mean, you know you you start you start with what you can do. Yeah, and, just build, and, and up, build and, up and and yeah. uh, and just 
and get it to where you you know can 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 work with it you know yeah. and, and then and then set your sights on okay what's the next level what's mm -hmm. the next gear mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah um anyways this has been a, a an amazing time yeah great journey to, huh to good talk introduction to yeah right i mean it's we've covered some good ground and i just you know i have, I have a lot of love for you yeah right uh, back at you, you know right back you're, you're at such you. a good friend and and we've been through so much uh you know doing this and and uh there's so much cool stuff ahead i know you know this this actually this podcast we're doing is is going to be a a series of many mm -hmm. podcasts where we're going to sit down and cover different topics because there's stuff that we didn't even i didn't even get a chance to get to cause yeah there's a lot of stuff we to can cover. you know we can we can talk with the best of them <laughs> <laughs> but um just really enjoyed it and we've yeah. got a great space here to do it and we're doing it in studio a down at otm and um here in Vancouver. Uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep keep rocking this uh and, and come up with lots of topics that we can cover over the next uh i don't know how often we'll do it but yeah. we'll, we'll just and we should be open to folks who you know who have some ideas that they yeah that we wanted to you know to discuss there's questions, a great show right? that I was Send listening questions to. Send questions into InfoApp. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a great show in the States I used to listen to on uh, NPR, and it was the two guys who were mechanics, but they were also MIT engineers. So they had any question you had about a car, a little any question you had about a car, you could, could ask them, it. and they they would cover it oh, in, wow. in a discussion. It was See, amazing. that's cool. So let's do that. So, so anyone that's listening, if you want to send in questions to info at onthemictraining.com, Noel and I will address them in the next podcast, OTM podcast that we do. And, uh, yeah, and just uh, look out for us. We're on social media, um, OTM voiceover on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is uh, just the beginning just the of beginning. many to come. Yeah, another so, journey. Yeah, another journey, right? Another yeah. journey. So cool. Okay, right, well, bro. thanks for listening, everybody. Appreciate you being here, and uh, we'll see you.